If you've considered moving to the lovely community of Parrish, Florida, then today I want to share the answers to the top eight questions real estate clients always ask me. Stay tuned. Catherine Newman, local real estate agent with Allison James. And today we're going to talk about, you know, the answers to those eight questions that people always ask me about moving to Parrish, Florida. And it's kind of easy for me to answer all of these questions because I happen to live here myself. So thanks for checking out this YouTube channel. There's a lot to choose from. So I hope that you do like this video and subscribe to this channel. I can always keep you up to date on the monthly market reports as well as weekly videos that give you all things real estate related. And I try to do it in a very entertaining way. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Prepare yourself. So before I get into the eight questions that most of my clients ask me about living in Parrish, Florida, you should know that Parrish is a community that is just a little northeast of both Sarasota and Bradenton. So we're more of a suburban area. We do have some rural areas, some working farms, things like that. We all like to see cows once in a while, uh, but we're a growing and expanding community, um, but more of a suburb outside of Sarasota and Bradenton. I have a few questions to ask you. Would that be okay? You know, before I meet with buyers, whether it's virtually or over the phone or in person, they always have questions. And I try to get those questions answered right up front uh, before we start going out and looking at communities and looking at houses, meeting with builders, looking at resale, whatever it is. Um, I want to get those answered because I want them to know what to expect, what they're going to be seeing as we go out. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do today is go over these eight questions that they ask the most. Question number one, how far is Parrish, Florida from the beaches? Well, uh, Parrish is in such a great little spot because we're not so close to the beaches that we're just inundated with that constant traffic. Although, hear me out here, there is traffic in Parrish, Florida. But to get to those beaches, say Anna Maria Island, Longboat Key, Siesta Key, Lido Beach, even some of the beaches down um, up in St. Pete, we're about 40 to 45 minutes, depending on whether we're in season or not with the traffic. Question number two, what is in season? Well, if you live anywhere in Florida, whether it's the beaches or not, you're always gonna hear that term in season. And what that means is the time of year that we Floridians experience out of state vacationers, out of state buyers, um, we call them snowbirds that typically live here for a few months out of the year. And then they go back to their primary home residence in another state, sometimes in other countries. And that's what we call in season. So it's the heaviest time of year for our tourists and traffic, it typically can start in, I would say late October, some of them start filtering in and can go all the way to Mother's Day. However, the most um, crowded times would basically be right after Christmas and New Year's up until about Mother's Day. So it's kind of sandwiched in there where there's a lot of traffic, a lot of tourists and a lot of snowbirds. Question number three. Do we have amenities in Parrish, Florida? Well, absolutely we have amenities in Parrish, Florida. We have several grocery stores and convenience stores. We have mom and pop restaurants, fast food eateries, some chain restaurants. We have a few home improvement stores, uh, an Ace Hardware, and we're getting our own Lowe's. We do have some shopping, kind of small boutique. We are getting our own home goods, so that's going to make a lot of us real happy. You heard, going to drop some money there. We also have doctors and dentists and pediatrician. Thanks for your kids. So whatever you need is available here. 
And if you want a broader selection of those things, you just have to go to maybe Lakewood Ranch or Bradenton or even into Sarasota, just a few 15, 20, 25 minute drive away. Uh, if you want to go to a mall, of course, you've got to go into Sarasota over on University Parkway. But for the most part, Parrish has all the amenities that you will need and more are being built as I speak. Question number four. Do you have restaurants in Paris, Florida? Well, as I just said about the amenities that we have here, we do have restaurants in Paris proper. There are several fast food uh, restaurants, some that are being built as I speak. We also have uh, some great mom and pop shops. Um, and of course, is if you're looking for fine dining, you're not gonna really find it. We are getting our own Outback Steakhouse. I don't really consider that fine dining, but It'll be nice to have that around. You're going to find um, great barbecue. You're going to find seafood, Italian, American, a lot of fusion. You're going to find uh, Asian type food around here. So pretty much everything you want is here. Now, if you want to go for some more fine dining, you definitely are going to have to drive well, it depends on where you want to go. If you want to eat out by the river and have a river view, then you would go maybe into Palmetto, into Sarasota, or Bradenton. If you want to go and spend time at a restaurant by the beach, maybe you want to go to Finn's down at in Venice, or maybe you want to go to the beach house down on Anna Marie Island. Those are, of course, going to be about a 40 to 45 minute drive, but there's so many restaurant choices on the outside of Paris, Florida, that I don't think you're going to get too bored finding a place that you really like to eat. Question number five, is Paris, Florida a healthy living lifestyle location? Absolutely. I love being asked this question because I myself am a fitness person. It is something that I do at least five times a week, whether it's um, high intensity interval training or strength training. It's something that helps me stay focused and makes me at least feel like I'm trying to stay younger. So yes, it is a healthy lifestyle location, depending on who you talk to. When you drive through Parish, you're going to see um, sidewalks down the main thoroughfare 301. You will always see people walking, jogging, riding their bikes. Sometimes they're on skateboards. So we know that people like to get exercise here. And of course, depending on the communities you live in, many of these communities have these extra amenities like um, a clubhouse with fitness rooms and of course, walking trails. So everywhere you go, you have the choice to stay fit if you'd like. There's certainly plenty to do here. So yes, it is a healthy lifestyle location. Question number six, what are the average commute times for Parish, Florida? Well, of course, that's also going to vary depending on where you're going. We have a lot of residents that uh, work up in St. Pete. Maybe they go over the Skyway Bridge. Uh, we have people that work up in Tampa and, of course, people that work in Bradenton and Sarasota and maybe even below down in the Northport and Port Charlotte. So we have a, a a, an average commute time, according to the people I've talked to, to about 32 minutes. Um, and of course, that depends on whether we're in season or not. It's the time of the season for the Question number seven. Does Paris, Florida have public transportation? You know, if you're coming from a larger area, say maybe the D.C. area, Cities like Jersey, New York, Chicago, um, Denver, maybe somewhere out in California, then you guys are really used to great public transportation. Remember, Parrish is a smaller suburban community outside of Bradenton and Sarasota. So yes, we do have a few public bus uh, stops in our area, but for the most part, it is a car needed location. So if you wanted to go to those bus stops, there are some in Parish, but you would probably need to have someone take you to that bus stop and maybe pick you up from there, or maybe you just like to walk a lot. But for the most part, we do not have uh, much public transportation, but the outlying areas do have public transportation. Question number eight, what types of housing do you have in Parish, Florida? 
So remember, we're more of a suburban area. So we typically have more single family homes than we do multifamily. But you will see a really great variety of homes being built by the builders here. We have a lot of new construction areas that are um, in the works. And you're going to see two-story uh, homes. You're going to see one-level homes. You will see homes that have more of a Key West, maybe more of a craftsman style, definitely a Florida style of building as well. Um, you're probably not going to see too many Victorian style homes here in the neighborhoods, although there are some more historic homes in Parish proper that are pretty much been here for a long time. We also have some really nice mobile and manufactured home communities. Um, some of them are age restricted, meaning that they have to be 55 years old or older to purchase in those communities. Some of those communities, you own the land and some of those communities, you pay a monthly lot fee. Now, any community, whether it's modular home, whether it's a mobile home, whether it's a single family home, some of those communities are gated, some of them are not gated. Many of them have amenities such as clubhouses and pools and walking trails and uh, workout rooms, things like that. Some of them do not. And you'll also see homes here that uh, are paired villas or what they consider to be villas. Again, some are gated, some are not. Um, these are just homes that share a common wall, maybe like the garage wall. And a lot of these communities also offer maintenance-free living. So if you're one of those people, you're like, I want to live somewhere and I do not want to do the lawn. I don't want to cut my own grass. I don't want to weed. All of those sorts of things can be done for you in communities that offer maintenance-free living. Otherwise, the rest of us that live in communities where we do have to do our own lawn, you can pay someone on a monthly basis to do lawn work for you or kind of do what my great neighbors and we do, which is we share responsibilities for the yard. So that's really kind of cool. We all help each other with that. So as far as variety goes, you will see that sort of housing here, pretty much everything you would want or need. Definitely consider all of your choices when it comes to that. Now, if you are looking for apartments in Paris, Florida, there really aren't many options for that. Although there are some being built um, at the moment, I don't think they're quite open yet, or at least only a few sections of them are open. And there are also some apartment complexes that have been approved by Manatee County that are in the works that are coming soon. So we're kind of hoping that those will fit in with the aesthetic of us, uh, the aesthetic of parish and kind of keep the small town feel that we all like while we also expand and grow. So lots of opportunities for a variety of homes here. So definitely check out your options before you get here. And of course, I know you probably have more than those questions that maybe you would like to have answers to. So please don't hesitate to ask your questions in the comments below or give me a call or email me, text me, whatever. I'm always available to answer your questions. And if I don't know an answer to your question, I will find out and get back with you for sure. So please make sure that you check out any of the other videos that are not just about Parish, but about Manatee and Sarasota County in general, maybe things that could help you in your decision making process to move here. We certainly loved it when we moved here in 2013 from Colorado. And um, I'm certainly here to help. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you're relocating from another area, Listen, I've been through that move before. I know what it's like to pick up stakes and move everything you have out to a whole new state where you don't know many people at all, where you kind of have to start over. So I'm here to help you if that's your situation as well. And please make sure you subscribe to this channel. It certainly helps me get that YouTube algorithm going. So subscribe to this channel and like this video. And again, if you need any help relocating, maybe you have a home you want to buy here and you have some questions about that. Maybe you have a home um, that you need to sell here 
and you have some questions about that, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always available to answer your questions. So thanks for checking out this video about the eight top questions that real estate customers always ask me about living in Parrish, Florida. And again, leave questions. If you have them, call me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Katherine Newman. See you then.